Hey guys, YouTube War 100 here. Okay, and this is just something that I wanted to just come on here for a few minutes to address because, seriously, this is just a, this is just a really sad act of stupidity, irresponsibility, and bad parenting. So, as you can see by the title of the video, you can kind of, you can kind of guess what this is about. So, yeah, I'm going to have, like, a video down in the description of a Judge Judy case that is really just about, like, total stupidity from parents. So, yeah, as you can see by the title of the video, it has something to do with the usage of a gun. So, yeah, I'm not really going to give you guys the full story of this uh, situation, because, yeah, the Judge Judy case down there will will really pretty much explain it all, but yeah, let me just say that, um, this case involves, um, like, uh, two kids playing, that were roughhousing with each other, and one kid had the, uh, that, like, the possession of a gun, and yeah, he ended up, like, injuring the other kid with the, because the gun ended up, like, going off, and like whacking the other kid as they were roughhousing and so yeah and so yeah these two families are like in court like the parents and the two boys boys are in court for this matter and yeah and it's like well like in this case like it's like revealed that had the boy who actually like had the possession of the gun gun was actually given the gun by his father. Yes, you heard that right. A parent actually gave his son, who is eight years old, this the kid who had custody of the gun was eight years old. Yes, he had possession of a gun to play with. What kind of moron does that? What type of parent is actually stupid enough to actually give their kid a gun to play with? Oh my gosh. Ser oh my gosh. This that is just oh, so unbelievably stupid. Seriously, you're a parent and you're actually letting your 8-year-old son carry a gun. Now, it wasn't like a real you know, like gun that carries bullets. It was a pellet gun, but still, you're actually giving your son like a gun to carry around and play with. Like, seriously, do you know how dangerous guns can be? I mean, it doesn't even have to be like an actual bullet gun. A BB gun, a pellet gun, a dart gun, any type of gun um, that's not a toy. That's dangerous. Like, seriously, who... And you give your 8-year-old son a gun? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what this is about. And this father just thinks... That this a dumbass father is just like trying to justify his actions in giving his son a gun. Like seriously, he's like talking a bunch of nonsense that he the his son can be properly trained to carry the gun. Like he's eight years old. Hold, you're stupid enough to actually think that an eight year old can be he like properly trained to handle guns? Oh my. <clears throat> Seriously, stupidity like this just pisses me off. I mean, it really does. I mean, like I was saying, I mean, guns are dangerous. Dangerous. I mean, yeah, this gun like went off, off like I said, and it like ended up uh, injuring uh, the other kid. And luckily, the kid wasn't the other kid wasn't seriously injured. Injured, but uh, still, he did like suffer some um, form of damage. Damage. Yeah, it'll the Judge Judy case down there will reveal what damage he suffered. But yeah, luckily he but wasn't like serious. It could have been much worse. Like it could have like like harmed him in a more serious place where and it possibly could have even killed him if it like went like in if it went in the right place. Like it could have struck him in the throat or something else. But seriously, and this father of the kid that had the gun who bought his son a gun. It's stupid, like, Judge Judy even, like, is, like, explaining to him why it's so stupid. And seriously, they got this stupid father, seriously, he just, like, still does not understand. Like, seriously, he just keeps on trying to justify his actions and say it's okay to do that. And he just 
would not accept responsibility for him him even like causing the action to begin with since he was stupid enough to buy his son a gun and let him run around and play with it. I mean, seriously, I mean, this is this is not only stupid, it sets a bad example for his son. And oh my gosh. Seriously. Yeah. I just don't even know what to say. It's just absolutely stupid. And seriously, I mean, I really don't blame like either one of the kids like they're saying like they were roughhousing and stuff and the kid who got shot was actually having the kid with the gun in like a chokehold or something and stuff. I mean, yeah, and the, the father is like trying to say that the the other boy was responsible for it, but he's not. I mean, neither of the boys, like they're not at fault at all. I mean, I mean yeah, seriously, even like the son, the boy who had the gun, I mean, it's not his fault. I mean, he's only eight, like. I'm sure he doesn't really, like, know any better yet. And, I mean, I know, but, yeah. Yeah, but with a father like that, I mean, yeah, he probably doesn't, even, like, know any better. So, yeah, the father's just setting a really bad example, and it's the father's fault for this. And, yeah, and I'm even sure, like, the boy who had the gun, he was, like, remorseful for what he did. Because at one, at one point, like, sort of, like, at the end of this case, like, the boy, like, ends up starting to cry. So... I think that the the boy who had the gun, I'm sure, like, he was remorseful for what he did. I'm sure that he didn't really mean to do it. I mean, even the boy who got shot was saying that he didn't want the uh, kid with the gun to get in trouble. But, yeah, so, yeah, I really, like, can't really blame either boy for this because it's not either one of their fault. It's that dumbass father's fault. I mean, seriously, this is ridiculous. I mean, I honestly wish because uh, Judge Judy is actually given the gun that the boy had and... I just wish, I just thought that Judge Judy should really just uh, shoot that stupid father with the gun, and maybe that would get the message to his head of how dangerous it is to give his own child a gun. <laughs> so, yeah, this is just, like, straight-up stupidity, and it's just, it's honestly really sad that there are parents this stupid. So, yeah, I just, yeah, I mean, especially, like, you think that an eight-year-old can be properly trained to handle guns? No, not at all, I mean... I mean, I wasn't even, didn't even, like, fully handle guns until I was, like, 12 or 13 years old. So, yeah, 8 years old, no, absolutely not. So, yeah, this is just, like, sheer stupidity. I mean, yeah, just parents, keep an eye on your kids and teach them the right examples. Don't give them guns to play with at such young ages. Wait till they're at least, like, teenage years to let them start, like, practicing with, like, BB guns and stuff. But, yeah, do not give them, like, actual guns to play with and stuff like this, like, only, like, give it to them if they, like, can want to shoot, like, some targets out back or something, but, yeah, do not actually let them run around with the guns, that is just a danger to other kids and stuff, so, yeah, it's just, like, really, really stupid, so, yeah, video will be down in the description if you want to watch it, but, yeah, this father just, yeah, these parents just should have their kids taken from them, because with examples like this, they just don't deserve to have children, all right, so, yeah, it's just, it's just real, messed up and it's really sad that parents can really be that stupid so yeah check out the judge and judy case down there if you really want to see this full story all right so yeah i really don't want to talk too much about this so yeah i guess i'll just cut it right here but yeah just keep an eye on the kids and leave good examples for them all right so i hope you guys enjoyed what i had to say about this so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later